Hey, it's good, everyone. Lil Glassman here. Special day here at the rink. Got some new nets in the mail. It's been a couple years. Usually I switch them out every year, but it was a tight year last year, so I didn't order them last year. But this year, we got the nets in. Got to toss some of these frames back here. These are not nets for the NHL goals that we have. Those goals are for the junior team as well as the, the college team. Those nets are fine. These nets right here are the game nets we use for the adult team as well as the youth team. It's, again, it's been a, a couple years, so they're kind of ratty. So what I'm going to do basically is we have the there's one main sets of goals we use for the junior team and whatnot, and the two other sets of goals, the drop-in set and the game set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drop-in set right here. I'm going to put the new nets on here, then throw the game nets, you know, the, the good, good better nets of the two, and make those the drop-in nets. So these are the drop-in nets technically right now. So what I'm going to do is take all these netting off. I'm going to grind all the paint off. Spray some new paint on there. It'd be nice to powder coat it, but we can't really do that. It's a little expensive. Several cans of paint is usually the better way, you know, the best way for us, I should say, not the better way to go. So, and I think what I'm going to do, I got to remember to do it. Oh, I got to remember to do it. The prime, prime the goals first. I don't want to get paint that has primer in it. I like to spray primer paint on it first. It'll last a little bit longer. So I'm basically going to do is I'm going to go through the process right here and do some fast forward, do some video editing there, kind of show you guys taking the nets off, grinding the paint on, spraying the paint on, and putting the netting on. And as far as putting the netting on, oh man, I don't really know how to do it the right way. I just do it the way I do it here and the way I think that looks the best. So I've seen some examples how to do it, but I've never really been taught the right way to string a goal. I know how to tie knots and string a goal, but to do it at the end... I don't can't say that I'm not doing it right, or I'm, I don't know. So we'll see. So real quickly here, what I'm going to do is unbox these boxes in front of you right here. If no one walks on me again. So I imagine these, oh, I should be using a blade. Carefully use a blade to open this box. I imagine these are the pads. I got two more boxes down here, smaller ones. And not only I get I got the pads from the bottom, this is the, these are the pads that go on the, the back post there. I also got pads that go up the back on the back pad, or back uh, pole back here. So, netting, get one set of nets. Put everything out here. String, they never give you enough string. I don't know, at least for me. And here are the bottom pads right here. Two sets. I also got something special for the goalies. I'm not sure if it's in this box. I also went with these net protectors right here. At the end, there's a little clear piece. No excuses, Willie. I think these are the better way to go. I don't know. They don't last as long. These, these end pieces kind of break off of here. But they, if I get a season out of these things, I'm happy. All right, that's all it's in that box. So this box right here has to be the special surprise. Carefully. All right, so I interrupted there, but I got the second set of nets right here. Don't forget that. And these are the special things right here. This pad is supposed to. So what I got here are two pads for the back post here. Let's drop everything off of here so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing here. These back posts right here. This is where these pads go. So that's going to be tight. I painted it white so it looks. Kind of like the NHL goals, but last time I ordered stuff, they said they didn't have these things. That was a couple years ago, but they probably had these things for a while. Kind of like that. But anyway, it'll be a good look. And last but not least, I'll tell you, I was thinking about your goalies. Little cup holders for behind the goals. So this is also going to be pretty tight. Let's go ahead and switch these right here down to pipe. So these little guys. Now, I may be paying the button to put these on and off. You have to switch them around. I've never put one on before, so I'm not sure what's official. I'm assuming you probably want to fit a little bit higher. That's what I'm thinking. All right? You probably want to go as high as you could go. So the goal doesn't have to reach over. So, you got two sets of Velcro right there, so that's going to be nice. Thinking about you again, goalies. All right, let me put this stuff away. Then we'll start pulling some netting off, start grinding, painting. Put some netting on, then fish up with the pads.
All right, there you go. Got them all nice and painted up, not looking too shabby. Again, powder coating is the way to go. Unfortunately, that's a little more expensive than we could do around here, which is, again, very unfortunate. But not looking too bad. I got a few touch-ups I got to do here and there. I wasn't going to paint all this top part white. I was just going to paint out the, the parts that are exposed from the pads. But I decided to do it all white just for looks and for peace of mind. I know it wasn't going to be painted all white, so... Even though it's going to be covered with pads, I don't, you know, I want it to look nice anyway. I made sure I get a couple coats of paint on that bar right there. It's just going to be using it. But what I'm going to do is do a second video for the nets and the pads because this video is getting kind of long. So I might as well just stop it here and I'll throw a description, a link in the description or a little box up top there about the second video, the link to it and stuff like that. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. And like the little glass man says... Stay cool.